Hey guys, welcome back to This Is Fiction, and today I'm going to be doing a fantasy-themed book haul. So the idea of this book haul for me is just to give you guys an idea of what kind of fantasy books that I've been reading over the past couple of months, because I have been on a roll with this fantasy stuff. I have loved every single one of the fantasies that I've read thus far, whether it's urban fantasy, high fantasy, low fantasy, whatever. I've loved all of it and I really want to share these books with you guys in case you were looking for something good and magical to read. So let's get started. Okay, so the first book is Lainey Midnight by Cassandra Clare and this is the first book in her Dark Artifices series. So in case you've been living under a rock, Lady Midnight is set in the Shadowhunter world, but it's at the Los Angeles Institute rather than New York Institute. And I think it's really, really good. I think it's possibly better than The Mortal Instruments. Even though it's a really long book, it's easy to lose the reader's interest, but this book definitely kept it the whole way through. So I think if you're looking for some fun urban fantasy, this is really the way to go. It's so much fun. The next book is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, and this is an awesome heist story set in this fictional world set around a group of magical people who live amongst the humans and these people are called Grisha. This book has one of the best cast of characters that I've ever read. They are all so interesting, they all have their own backstory and they all have their own personalities which I think is really cool and it's really impressive for an author to do that for like five or six main characters. The book is also really full of plot twists. There are a lot of corners that you turn that you don't expect to turn. There are a lot of forks in the road and you always go a different way than you expect to. It's super cool, really fun to read, and I don't think there is a single dull moment in the entire book. Next is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and guys, I love this book. This cover is one of the most beautiful covers I've ever seen before. It's got a perfect representation of what the character is doing in the story. It's so fascinating. I love it. It's about this magician named Kel who has the ability to travel between worlds, which is really useful because it turns out he can travel between these different worlds called Black London, Red London, White London, and Grey London, and all of these worlds have varying degrees of magic. So Kel is from Red London, and this home he has is so beautiful, it's so full of magic, it's just depicted in a really, really lovely way, and he loves it. So. You can see why it would be a problem when he accidentally brings back a relic from Black London that immediately incites the possible destruction of his entire home and all the worlds around it. So this book is one of my favorite books this year, but it's also one of my favorite books ever. I feel so fortunate to have picked this up because I didn't know very much about it going in, but I'm so, so glad that I did. It has a sequel that already came out. It's called A Gathering of Shadows, I believe. and. While I've seen it in stores, I'm really hesitant to pick it up because I'm afraid the author is going to turn it into a love story and I really, really don't want this to turn into a romance because it has such a good magical plot and it's such a good fantasy that I just don't want to ruin it with some contrived romance, but I'm probably going to read it anyway. Next on the list is A Court of Florence and Roses and its sequel, A Court of Mist and Fury. So A Court of Thorns and Roses is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, but instead of a beauty and a beast, it's got fairies and a human girl. And that's that's why I have the flower crown thing, because fairies, fairies wear flower crowns, probably. This girl accidentally kills a fairy and she's taken by the fairies. She's given the option, you can either die or you can come to what is essentially fairyland, but it's not like pleasant fairyland. It's a place where human death is almost inevitable. So this girl elects, obviously, to go to Prithian fairyland. I really, really immensely enjoyed this story. It's a retelling, yes, but it totally branches out at the end, becomes a whole different thing. It becomes its own story, not a retelling at all. And I did not expect it to go in that direction, but it does, and I'm so glad that I read it. I actually enjoyed A Court of Mist and Fury more. It just came out recently, and I read it as soon as I could get my hands on it, and I thought it was really good. I thought it was better than the first book, which is really, really rare for me. I typically don't enjoy the second book in a series more than I enjoyed the first one, but in this case, I did. I just, I like the characters and the events that happened in this one a lot more than the ones in the first book. So while they're both really fun, I did enjoy this one, and I both, I think they're both worthwhile. I think they're both worth picking up. I just like this one a little bit more. And if you're into that kind of thing, they're both 
really steamy and romance based so and lastly the book I'm reading right now is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. I forgot to mention it but A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury are also written by Sarah J Maas so as soon as I finished those I was really in the mood for one of her books. This is the sequel to Throne of Glass, which I really, really enjoyed, and a lot of people before me really, really enjoyed that one as well. I read it about a year ago, and I waited a long time to pick this one up. I got really curious about how the main character in this book ends up. First of all, I think she's immensely badass, and she has a really interesting story. It's really fun to follow her perspective because she's an assassin, and she doesn't have to learn how to be strong and brave. She already is that way, so we get to jump right to that part and get into the action really quickly, which is why I liked the first book, and I'm hoping this book goes the same way. I'm not very far into it at all, but I am really curious to see who she ends up with. I don't know how this love triangle resolves itself. She has Kale and Dorian. I'm a big supporter of Selena and Kale. Kaelena? Selena? So yeah guys, I've been having a really really good fantasy run. I enjoyed every single one of these books to varying degrees. If you're looking for something fun to read over the summer or right now, you should definitely pick up one of these books. If you've read them already, tell me what you think of them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back next week with something new. Thanks guys. Bye!